want to go to uh, a special guest over Zoom, one of Sacramento's most well-known baseball stars, Del Campo High School's very own Dusty Baker, manager for the Washington Nationals and Houston Astros before taking a front office job with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Mr. Baker, thanks so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, appreciate you taking time for us Great. today. Well, I'm not a Zoom specialist. That's why, <laughs> that's why I was wondering if you could hear me or not. You know, we, my, we, son, my son's off playing ball, and usually he's the one that connects me to all my Zooms and makes sure I'm doing it right. Perfect, perfect. Well, you are live right now, so let's get let's get right to it. Uh, what I wanted, to, what I was really excited to ask you is, when you were playing ball at Del Campo, did you ever think mm -hmm. Sacramento would get a major league team, even if it was just for a few years? Uh, not really. You know, like you never even thought about it because then you were thinking about the A's or the Giants. And uh, before I moved to Sacramento at the summer of '65, uh, you know, there was a lot of talk about the Sacramento Solons, which I never went to the park or never got to see them play. So, you know, I think it's pretty exciting, very exciting. Um, uh, you know, that we get a major league team here if only for, uh, you know, a few years. I do feel uh, badly for the city of Oakland because they've lost, you know, all their teams. And, uh, you know, I always look forward to going to Oakland, but you can't, you know, stop progress. And uh, I'm sure the, the the Oakland fans that live here um, are, are very excited to, you know, to have the A's come here. Um, I ended my career with the A's. And uh, like I said, it's kind of a end of a, you know, end of an era. Um, you know, you spend time at a certain place and you go there a certain, but at the same time you think about, you know, the Aaron Judges and Jose Altuve's and all these great players will be coming to Sacramento. And uh, I was just thinking, like you said, about having to, you know, improve the lighting. Um, it's going to, uh, you know, we need probably – you know, more hotels for all the fans that are going to come in from other places, you know, more restaurants. It's going to bring a whole bunch of uh, economy, you know, to the city, but at the same time, it's taking a lot of economy away from the city of Oakland. Yeah, I mean, huge ripple effect here. I, I was curious to ask you, too, uh, obviously, this is a minor league park. We're going to make some upgrades, which would be great, but are there any, I don't know, disadvantages, advantages to playing in a smaller ballpark? Um... Not really. Just as long as the lights are are are, are up to um, code, you know that's the main difference between the minor league parks and the big league parks. You know the lighting's so much better. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to increase increase seating. I was just out there the other day, and uh, you know when the big club came here, the Giants came here to play. It was packed. There wasn't a seat in the house, and so you can envision that. Uh, uh, being a daily occurrence, there's going to be a lot of baseball played. Uh, you know, especially if the River Cats are here part of the time, and the big and the Oakland A's big league clubs part of the time. That's almost everyday baseball, and uh, uh, you know, which is good for the area, good for you know a lot of the kids. Uh, you know, as a kid, you, know, you dream about being a major league baseball player, but how often you know do you have the accessibility to? you know, run right down the street and look at it. So, uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be great for the area. And I just hope that, uh, um, you know, they do even more improvements with the clubhouse and just different things to make it up to speed to, you know, for the big leaguers to feel that they are really in a big league city of Sacramento. Yeah. I'll ask you a you know, final question here. It was clear from the press conference today, okay. city leaders see this as a possible okay. audition for maybe some sort of team down the road. Is that realistic? And, and what do we need to do to sell Sacramento to to you know a team that might want to come here? Um, you know, I don't know if it's realistic or not. Um, uh, there's a possibility. Um, you know, the one thing is that uh, I've always heard that there's not uh, you know enough corporate money here. Uh, but, you know, that's the thing. I mean, it's going to it's going to really help the fact that. You know, the A's are bringing their TV contracts here, which I heard was part of the deal that uh, of why they wanted to stay here. Uh, you know, the TV contract, the local TV contracts. And, and you don't know, um, you know, there's there's plenty of money here in Sacramento. You don't know if it's corporate money or, or people, uh, people are willing to share it. But, uh, um, you know, we need to, to try to do something to try to, you know, keep a team here. Because I, I, I'm telling you, this is, uh, 
it does a lot for you know does a lot for the area well really appreciate your insight really appreciate you taking time to talk to us uh, on a very exciting day so uh mr baker we appreciate it